Hello everyone, this is Amritpal Singh. Welcome to the next video of this R programming language series. In this video, I'll be talking about SQL. So SQL, uh, we all know it's nothing but the structured query language. If you are uh, more interested in SQL or writing SQL queries in R, this video is for you. We're gonna take uh, the help of one package called SQL DF. With the help of SQL DF, we're gonna uh, write the queries in the SQL, right? So this is the uh, speciality about SQL DF. It lets you write the queries in traditional SQL language, right? Let's get started. So for that, we need to load the library, which is called SQL DF. So this is the uh, library we need to load for running the things in the SQL. For this video, I'll be making use of one, uh, one data, which is already inbuilt in uh, R. It's called UCB admissions. This is available by default in the R programming language. So just I'm gonna, gonna use this as the base for this video. All right. So this data contains the students admission status such as admit, gender, department, frequency of the students, right? So first of all, we need to convert this into a data frame. So we are converting it into a data frame called X so with the as dot data dot frame. We are turning this into this. So we are putting it here UCB admissions. So this UCB admissions data now it's been converted into the data frame. So you can check it out. X is now a proper data frame with the columns called admit, gender, department and frequency. This is the data frame uh, which I'll be using for this uh, video. All right, moving further. Now we all know that uh, uh, whenever we start learning SQL, the very first command that we learn is select command. Let's now try to run the traditional SQL query. Uh, in order to write any SQL query in SQL DF, we need to prefix that query with the SQL DF function, right? So inside this, uh, you'll be having parentheses and double quotes. You can write the query inside that, right? Select star from X. Now it'll be acting like a X will be acting like a regular table. You can see it here. We are uh, we are getting the same answer uh, as of the previous one, right? This is the same answer. This is it means my SQL queries are running now. Now let's uh, uh, do a little, uh, uh, let's do the things further. So uh, we can also use the conditional statements by using where statements. Let's suppose I want to now see uh, all the records where gender equal to female. So what I can do, uh, just uh, I'll be adding where clause here, the regular where clause of SQL and I'm putting it here where gender equal to female. All right. So here I'm putting it here female. Let's see if it's working or not. Yes, it's exactly working. You can see it here, all the records with the gender uh, female got returned. So let's uh, go it further. And let's suppose I want to see all the admitted students. Again, I'll be using traditional uh, where clause in which I can go with the column now admit and admit will be having condition as admitted. So this is how I come to know that all the students who got admissions, right? So it is admitted, A-D-M-I. Uh, double T E D. All right. You can see it here. I got all the records where the admit uh, is equivalent of admitted. So now let's suppose I want to now uh, see all the admitted students department wise in the decreasing number of students admitted. So here actually we are just trying some variations, right? So in this case, uh, what I'll be doing, it will be same, but I'll be just adding one uh, additional, param additional parameter, which we all know of additional operator called order by. So everything will be same. I'll just be adding the regular order order by for sorting the data. So I'm ordering by frequency and I'm using DESC for decrease, decreasing order. So you can see it here, the frequency things got uh, sorted, right? You can see it here, uh, the data remains same, but the data has been sorted with respect to frequency in a descending order. In the same way, if I want to see all the departments, I can go with the basic query, uh, again, SQL DF as my function in which I can go with the select distinct means if I want to print the uh, unique records, right, uh, in this uh, admissions, right, so I can go with the distinct TEPT department from X. So it will be showing you the uh, all the departments from that. We are having total six departments, A, B, C, D, E, F. This is how we can do it, right. In the same way, we can uh, go with another query. Let's suppose I want to now uh, display the total number of students admit admitted. In this case, I'll be using aggregate function. So here we are just trying the different variations, like uh, try to cover up uh, some of the commands of the basic SQL. In this case, I'm going with the traditional uh, aggregate operator called sum. So sum of frequency, right? So from X, right, where student, where admit equal to admitted. 
where admit equal to admitted right so so in this way you can try any sql query right whatever like whatever the things we have learned in the sql like group by order by right all this stuff joins and all so let's now uh, try the last query here uh, i want to now uh, show all the students who got rejected in the admission so everything will be same instead of now admit it will be rejected right so here i can put rejected so you can see two triple uh, double seven one got rejected so this marks the end of this video actually uh, uh, the, because sql topic is so uh, huge right you can try any of the sql query the major purpose of showing you uh, the, uh, with this video was to make you aware that we have a one package available with the name sql df with the help of which you can write any sql query in r so provided you have this package installed with the installed dot packages sql df first load the library whatever query you want to write just enclose in a double quotes and just uh, call the sql df as a prefix right so that's it from my side rest of the content i'll be covering up in a next video thanks for watching guys